Jason, some of you are saying, why has your video quality improved so greatly? I can tell this is shot in your cell phone. What gives? We're used to the grainy crap. We're used to the grit. Where's your passion? You've lost yourself. Truth is, uh, I just got a new phone. So this next video is a tech review on the new Samsung S10e. This is really cool because um, this product review is a twofold kind of thing. It's my first one for this channel as far as a relevant piece of tech that's not uh, like filmmaker related. We're reviewing the Samsung S10e today. And it's also a cool moment because this is the first time I've ever had a current cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean like a flip phone, but <clears throat> I've had the S5 active since it came out, like five or six years ago. <laughs> and as you can see, it's been active, quite active. And it is a, a, a welcome change and a, a welcome new thing to have a brand new cell phone and a brand new relevant piece of tech to try out for you guys. So without further ado, Let's get in it. Let's unbox it. I'm stoked. Ah. <laughs> ah. Stop there. All right. Right on. There it is. The Galaxy S10e, uh, 128 gig. Pretty much your standard. There comes. Uh, it comes in a 512 gigabyte too. Um, I do a lot of <clears throat> the stuff that I do with this. I'll do uh, Dropbox and, and whatnot in the cloud, so I don't necessarily need a whole lot of onboard memory here. Um, I got it in standard black just because uh, the other color options were like Flamingo and uh, not so much. It's, it's kind of their take on rose gold. It looks cool, just not for me. Oh, what's in the box? Let's uh, let's crack it. Why am I pretending to break the seal back here? I already took it out. It's already my phone. <laughs> What's in the fucking box? Ah. Oh, it's sexy. Beautiful little piece of tech here. Um, the S10e is cool, and I chose the E because it kind of gives you just about everything that the 10 and the 10 plus give you a slightly smaller I don't really need the uh, fingerprint access even though this has a fingerprint sensor on the side here I don't need uh, I don't need the look access and the unlock those types of things my main concern because of being a filmmaker being a vlogger being a documentary filmmaker I need a really, really, really great camera at my fingertips at all times, um, and this is the is, this is you know, the same processor and a, a great camera cluster in this particular package. What else we got? A little dongle. I'm assuming that's to go phone to phone, perhaps. What is that? Oh, let's, okay. So there's headphones in here. Cool. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, AK. Oh, okay. All right. I see you. AKG headphones. How do they fit? That's always a big thing for me. How do? Which one's the right? Which one's the left? You're not gonna tell me. Do I have to figure it out on my own? Go for broke here. Oh. Oh. Oh, those are nice. Wait, I might have to jump up one size because. I'm my head's big. I also like that uh, the braided cord too doesn't crimp. Those are sweet for uh, okay, free headphones. What else we got? Oh, yep, your uh, C-type charger, USB-C. What else we got? Oh, up top here. Okay, we got our we got our uh, our SD card tool, our SIM tool, our reset tool. Because um, these are sealed now. Unfortunately, that's one thing I loved about my S5 Active that I could replace the battery in that thing. It's 
It's one of the reasons it lasted so long. We have our uh, little tool there. Wonderful. Put that back because I'll lose that immediately. This is just manuals and stuff. Oh, one cool thing that I would like to mention about the S10e is that it comes from the factory with a screen protector uh, already on it. But oh, phone's upside down. With the screen protector, um, and that's pretty awesome because a they're a pain in the butt to put on without bubbles. I mean, I'm sure there's like a really easy way to do that out there that some of you cell phone savants would be like, mm, just do that, but I can't do it. So that was really cool that it comes with the screen protector already on here. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, terms and conditions, health and safety. What? Really cool things on here. You got the cool augmented reality emojis and, and those types of things. Um, you got a scene optimizer for your YouTube and internet videos. You've got a whole kinds of really all kinds of really cool stuff. But for me, like I said, um, the processor, the processor's got to be got to be fairly robust, and this does have a fairly uh, fairly robust processor um, in it. We'll get to the the tech specs here in, in a moment. But the biggest part of everything was the camera, and specifically, actually, specifically the forward-facing selfie camera. Being a vlogger, it's really difficult sometimes if I have my DSLR in my hand like like up, uh, that's up here filming me right now if I have that in my hand and I'm on a scene and I want to talk to the camera and I want people to see me talk to the camera I have to then turn what I'm you know, I have to take you guys away from seeing what I'm seeing and a lot of times if I'm trying to frame something I just bring my phone up and click that uh, selfie camera on and turn it around and the quality in the selfie camera is now, with the S5 Active, it was actually pretty amazing. Let me go get it. I'm stuck. Of course, it wouldn't be me if the battery would be... Son of a... <laughs> it wouldn't be me if the battery was charged. So, um, the S5 Active actually had a fairly robust camera cluster. And that was pretty awesome for the fact that this was a phone that was made to get run over by a truck. You don't normally see that. Um, they don't, the, the really robust cam, really robust phones are usually built for people that work construction and aren't necessarily worried about their picture quality. They need to be able to take picture to a picture, but they, they're not concerned about it. They just want, the, want it to make calls, have it be Wi-Fi connected. Sometimes, you know, hello? I don't know anybody from Washington State. The robo calls are starting already? I got you yesterday. But this had a fairly decent camera cluster. However, the selfie camera is dependent on a very, 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 very specific light requirement. It is an outdoor camera. Plain and simple. It's because of the small sensor. A lot of light has to get in there in order for in order for the lens to work. If you have a limited amount of light, it's gonna it's gonna interpret basically, and it's gonna be grainy and gonna look kind of gross. If you're doing a found footage film, though, however, these guys really did an amazing job with that particular selfie camera. They did a couple different things to it to make it to make it better. When you open up the camera and you turn it to the selfie mode, you have a an option for a wider wider angle or a closer angle. So if you're trying to take a selfie with somebody and you're trying to squeeze that person in, so like this. What's up, guys? So if I'm trying to squeeze you, if I'm, if I'm right here and I'm trying to squeeze you into frame. It's not really going to work. So I can hit this button here and I can widen that frame and that, you know, lets us take a picture. Some tech specs on this little guy here. You got a 5.8 inch AMOLED screen. 
that is being run by a Snapdragon 855 octa-core processor which is backing up an Android 9 Pi operating system with one UI and also you run six to eight gigs of RAM on this uh, little powerhouse so for a small package it packs a wallop what we have here is a cluster on the front that is a dual 16 mega megapixel digital camera one standard focal point lens and one hundred and twenty three degree wide angle lens now it's pretty cool uh, as far as the depth of field goes it's very interesting the things you can do with the wide angle lens uh, perspective shots are pretty neat I would actually kind of dig trying to mount this on like a head cam or a body cam of some kind I think that would be pretty cool to achieve um, some kind of more realistic first person types of deals without having to put a camera rig on somebody with a wide angle lens or having to you know stick a GoPro there and worry about image stabilization even though the newest heroes have their called the gimbal killers nothing really I, no, I don't think any digital stabilization is gonna replace a just steadfast stuck there camera speaking on image stabilization this does have a built-in uh, image stabilizer it's pretty cool it's pretty good nothing um, you know nothing to be uh, incredibly <gasps> shocked and impressed by but you know the, again I use locked off rigs I use handheld rigs it's just not just me with my phone like this I use a lot of stuff that has stabilization already integrated as far as hardware goes so sticking a camera in say like a, a gimbal or some kind of jib that I've that I've made or that I've, I've set up provides the stabilization that I need I have a fairly steady hand so I'm not too concerned about that someone using it constantly and consistently as a main shooting camera for something would definitely want to uh, look into some outside stabilization for, for putting this in something if it's just something that you're gonna crack out like that with your hand and take a quick you know quick video or photo you don't necessarily need to worry about uh, upgrading the stabilization the onboard stabilization is just fine the Android 9 Pi is awesome it's really fluid it's really easy to use the menus and everything sweep through uh, the, I'm used to a five-year-old phone so it's mine's a dinosaur um, but sweeping through the menus is really nice and fluid sweeping up a one-touch sweep up for your other apps and then your folder customizations and everything it's really standard Android hasn't really done too many like new crazy things with their operating systems within the past couple of years because they don't have to it's just a you know they've gotten to the point now where they just make it more fluid and more adaptable to each individual every time they upgrade it the Snapdragon 855 um, third processor is really super fast really super smooth I've used this phone quite a bit as far as testing the cameras out and playing around with it I haven't seen any stuttering any drop any any you know down clocking or anything like that to keep up it's certainly a uh, it's certainly a powerful little machine that I have in my hand currently and I really really dig it lastly we'll speak on the shooting modes that you can do so in video mode you have um, a, you have a couple different you have a couple different things I'm sorry in photo mode you have a couple different uh, couple different shots that you can do your uh, you know point focus for your food <laughs> for taking food sees foodsies food selfies selfies you have a, a night shot mode which is really neat a, uh, a, a wide long long pause uh, a, a wide f-stop mode shooting at night 
You have your panoramas. Panoramas are neat. I always, I always loved a good pano. Let me tell you. I remember having to stitch panoramas together in Photoshop before you could just do it on the phone. Good times. You also have a pro mode in, uh, in your photo mode, which is neat. You can control uh, ISO with it. You can control your app, your uh, aperture. You can control autofocus, your white balance. It gives you metering and everything in there too. So if you're shooting something like video and you want to, to meter your white balance and see like, oh, we're at 45K right there, it, it's, it's pretty cool. And you can, you can use this as a, a tool outside of taking pictures with it. Um, then you have your intuitive live focus, which is exactly how it sounds. You can pick and choose different point focuses and, and vignette focuses in the, in the photo. And then you've got your video modes. You've got, uh, again, two lenses. Hey, honey. Oh, boy. She's jealous because I have a cool phone now. Uh, you got two video modes, which is pretty, like I said, pretty neat. You've got your wide angle, 123 degree lens. What do you think about that, honey? Thanks. That's all she wanted to do is give me a wet willy and walk away. A couple other things on this particular piece right here. You have a hyperlapse mode, which is kind of cool. You have a, it's, a, it's basically a time lapse setting. It's pretty neat. Um, one thing I would say is use it for static time lapses. I used it on a Movo rig to turn it through 360 degrees. It was a little stuttery. Um, probably going to use the Movo rig and do a standard time lapse just you know speeding the film up instead of doing it in app some of those are really awesome some of them are kind of iffy the slow motion modes are i mean the super slow mo is too slow i tried to do it down here and it was getting the cycling in the led lights so that's uh that's that's not cool but the regular slow mo the high frame rate mode is is pretty cool overall for this particular device the Galaxy S10e, I rate it very, very highly. I will, I will give it eight out of ten. I'll give it eight out of ten something. Hello, who's calling me? It's the doctor. Hang on. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. At least I get good reception places. Quickly, the end of the video here. Uh, I give it an eight out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10 would be perfect across the board, no problems with it. I do have a, a problem or two with the super wide angle lens. It gets kind of stuttery. And the hyperlapse mode is stuttery when it's on a rig of some kind. My kids are currently calling me. We're going to go hang out, uh, probably shoot some more on this particular camera, but definitely go, get, oh, there's my Dropbox, definitely go get you, so if you're looking for that phone that's not going to break the bank as far as, as, far as the money goes, I believe it's $749.99 to buy it outright, and it's going to give you all the quality that you need to use it uh, like I do, if you use it like I do, um, as a vlogging camera or as a secondary camera, it gives you all those options. And uh, it's in a nice, sleek package as well. The form factor is really nice. Highly recommend the Samsung S10e. Thank you once again for joining us here on Jason Purcell Films. Remember to smash that subscribe button. Smash it. And hit the like button if you like this video. Leave me a couple comments down there suggesting what uh, you'd like to see next. Um, maybe Samsung will see this and I could start reviewing some of their products. I would love to do that. And uh, above all, enjoy your day. Enjoy film. Enjoy life. Enjoy french fries. I want french fries. Bye.